people welcome back to our channel yeah yep i've got these two little um wrap bags shall we say here mm -hmm. yeah josh is here again Hello. Um, and oliver's joined us this time as well but why guys haven't why seen have me i in a while you haven't seen him in a while now but why have i brought these two into this video well mm -hmm. because these boys have not played the Atari Lynx enough. In fact, Oliver's never played the Atari Lynx. Josh yeah. has, a little yeah. bit, a little tiny bit. So yeah. I would like to introduce them to the Atari Lynx on the Evercade. It's oh, look, I covered your face eight. up. Yeah, so a 15 year old and an eight year old are going to be introduced. But it's 12, so to... I'm not loud. Oh, well, never mind. We'll pick the age appropriate game, shall we, Oliver? <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to play that little beauty, or oh, they are, they're going to play it, as we introduce them to the Atari Lynx, but through Blaze's gorgeous Evercade guys. So yeah, Just that's what we're going to do, and the purpose of this video is obviously to introduce them to the Atari Lynx and see what they think of the games. So what we're going to do is, they're both going to pick three games each that they want to play. Yeah. Now obviously I did a video yesterday already. Um, so we may double up on these videos. I warn you now guys because it is literally what these guys are going to pick And if they're the same ones, they're the same ones, but don't worry. I have another video coming tonight With some more on it. So anyway, this is a bit of fun guys a generation gap video again To see what these boys an eight-year-old and a 15 year old think of Atari Lynx games being played on a beautiful modern screen Will they get any fun out of them or will they think it's just old hat? Shall we find out, boys? Yeah. Shall we go up, hook it to the TV, and have a look, shall we? Mm -hmm. Right, let's do that right now. Back in a sec. Secret. Right, here we go, you lovely people. As, uh, yeah, I introduced the boys to the Atari Lynx over the fantastic Evercade. Uh, first up, I do believe it's Oliver. Yes. And he's going to choose a game that he has absolutely no chance of playing properly. But we shall see how he gets on. Josh is sitting next to him and he's going to give him a helping hand, aren't you? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, Oliver's first choice is Loops from 2004. A puzzle game where you've got to place the blocks to copy the image. But if he actually manages to play this, I'll be staggered because even I can't play this. And neither can Metal Jesus, by the way. Right, off we go then. Come on, thank you. I made software. I made software, yeah. I'm not seven. Volume seven. June the 5th, 2004. Just press any key to start. Right, Oliver, well, let's see how you manage this one then. Uh, it should be fun to see an eight year old playing an Atari Lynx game, Not even if it is a more level. recent one. supposed to create the image that's in the middle there, at the bottom. No, you're not. Aren't you? Um, oh, see, that's how much I know about this game. What are you supposed to do? Then? That's just the one. Oh, that's the next piece, isn't it? Yeah. Is it basically Tetris? Yeah, it's the next one. Well, there you go, guys. I have absolutely no idea about this game because I just got that completely wrong. Is this Tetris, Josh? No. It looks like Tetris, though. No, it doesn't. It's only like 1%. So go on then Josh, explain the point of this game. You're supposed to create loops. Oh, that's what I call it, yeah. That's why it's called loops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not getting very far away, is it? No. Mm -hmm. How can you do that? 
can you create loops, Mom? You can rotate blocks. How can you rotate your blocks? By pressing the other button that you've got game over. They're all dead. Stupid! You gonna try again? No. You gonna get Josh to show you how to play it properly? No. No? Right. Right, right Josh, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. Oh. And what one are you choosing first? Um, this one. That one. Oh, yes, guys. This is a very interesting title on the uh, Collection 1, the Atari Lynx Collection 1. It's called The Mega Pack Volume 1. I'll tell you what. Yeah, this is a mixed bag, guys, <laughs> from 2008. Miscellaneous, that's for flipping sure. There you go. Josh will guide you through it. Yeah. Smells like Nando's mayonnaise. Huh? Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I found out if you press uh, select, then um, you can change the music. Wait, oh. Is it select? Yeah. Oh, the start. Yeah. The sting. That's cool. You also have New York, New York on here. Yep, fascinating. Chapter that that's actually chapter ten if you if you don't know Roman numerals. I mean it's a cool thing to have on here, but it's very, very weird. <laughs> First game, Parafly. Uh it's basically a game and watch game. That's cool. Which is pretty cool, isn't it, to be yeah. fair. Anyways, we've all seen this before, it was called Fire on the Game and Watch. Mm -hmm. Oh, you nearly died there. Yeah, that's the game basically, you just do that. Yep. Oh, people it's literally dying. just fire, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And yeah. people dying. Quite hard. There's a lot coming down at once, isn't there? Yeah. I died on purpose to have gone to the yeah. next game. And my high score was like 90 or something, but it got deleted yeah. apparently. I know my no um, I know my Roman numerals. I've now to quit this, so um yep. Okay. Then you have to go back in, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of them I know how to quit. Yep. In instead of the Roman numerals, they should have just there wrote down 10. Numerals. Yeah, right there, chapter X. For 10. This is chopper X. Oh, chopper X. <laughs> and it's not meant to be 10, it's just yeah. X. And just now, X. this one's called Break the Password, where you literally just guess the password, and the green dots at the bottom are how many turns you have. But oh. I did this earlier, and I know what the password is. It's, um... Is it my name? Is it New York, New York? No? No. Because <laughs> that's a flipping song playing. Oh wait, um, maybe I've forgotten it. Uh, yeah, I've forgotten the passwords. Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> um, what, what do you I've got get? I've got the T and the I, right? I've got an R. So it's not, yeah. this is weird. No? Yeah. Hmm. What do you get when you uh, do the password, um, right? You get like a, a weird message. And like um, I said, guys, interesting, but it's very weird. T I N. I think the password's different. I didn't know it changed. Um, ah, so it changes. Mm. P. No. So it's tin something. Tin two letters and an R. Tinder. Tin. <laughs> it could be. Oh that my god. Tinder. Uh, Another N. That you can't get the same letter twice. Ah oh, right. Okay. Tinker. Tinker. Tinker, let, let's uh, let's see the message. Post, yeah. You know you are in. Oh, it's trouble. the same message that I got last time. I think. Dot yeah. dot. You are four year old. Reveals that it's almost impossible to flush a grapefruit down the toilet. <laughs> you are in trouble <laughs> when your four year old reveals that it's almost impossible to flush a grapefruit down the toilet. Oh, that's hilarious! Yeah, it sounds like our house actually. With the constant toilet blocks. From, from the, in, from the flipping grip from. Is an etch a sketch. Oh, basically an etch a sketch. Created by Chris and Rick. Yeah, um, Chris Rick. I forgot how to start. It's an interesting one. It won't let me in. You can't do it. No! It's impossible. What? Mega fail here, guys. You can't get it to start. Last time there was a bug where. The Music was glitching out, and I was yeah. won't even let me in the game. But anyway, it was an extra sketch. <laughs> and that's yeah, it. I'll try it one more time. Yeah, we're gonna try it again, guys. 
You can see how basically this is just here as a tech demo, really, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? This, this, this whole thing. There is actually a working game on there, though, um, which Josh will show you. I can't get into this anymore. Yeah. I got into it last time. I don't remember how. Very, Look. very, very, very glitchy. And I expect the password one was the most creepiest it's, one. It's meant to be like that in the first place, probably. Very odd choice to put on here. Sound tool. I don't really understand this, but it's like you can make your own music or something. Make your own music, yeah. Which one was oh, the most scariest one? The password. It was creeping me out a lot. Yeah. Like, it's it makes your eyes grow funny, doesn't it? It doesn't make my eyes grow funny. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, it that is, again, just very, very peculiar. Like, what is the actual point of it? <laughs> Pardon me, I think that sounds better than that does. <coughs> there you go, I'll have another cough just to make it sound better. Yeah, what a weird, weird thing. Yeah, I don't really understand it. And you can, like, save something as well. Yeah, so obviously you can create music somehow and then save it. Yeah, very, very odd. Yeah. Now, Chopper X, the now, only one I actually had fun with. This is actually a proper game, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So at least there is one in this lot here. It's like the game where like you go through the cave, except the first level, it's like... Um, Hot air balloons. Hot air balloons. Yeah. But the Hot second level is actually like the original game where you go through yeah. the cave. You just oh. don't shoot anything. and. Yeah, yeah. So it's complete. That was quick. Yeah, because I pressed select. Oh. Yeah, uh, this is the cave one. Yeah. You hold like the uh, left oh. and right to speed up and left to slow down yeah. and then A to go up. Die. Well, at least that's quite fun, isn't it? Yeah. How yeah. you die? I don't know what's on level three. So. Yeah. So you can skip Stage all the levels. Then. Yeah, just by pressing select. Yeah. That's oh, this is Stage Oh, ah, look, that's quite interesting. Yeah. Obviously they're very linear, there's not much going on, you're just trying to avoid hitting mm -hmm. the walls, but um, yeah, it's alright, oh. there's something there, like a little ship going up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Can't very um, very linear, but at least it's a working game and you can get some fun out of it. Yeah. And what's the last one in the choice? No, there's still like three more. Oh, there's still three more? Three yeah. more? So at least we've got a lot in there, even if half of it's not playable. Yeah. Uh, Pontiac, my favourite one, Epilepsy one. Oh my good god. So it's literally just a flickering picture of a Pontiac. You can do no, nothing else with this, guys. Mm -hmm. That is literally a, And it just kicks him back to the menu. Yep, yeah. so when you press the button, it just kicks you back. So yeah, that was fascinating, that one. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just a picture of a car in rainbow yep. colours. That has definitely got to be the best game on the Evercade yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my Pontiac is the best one. Blackjack. This one's actually working. I like the animations. Nice. Uh, 16, uh, hit. So you're alright so, if you know how to play Blackjack? I win. I mean, it's not that hard. I know how to play it. 20, ooh, good. I won again. 20, might as well stay. This is actually peaceful. Um, yep, quite peaceful. Then he gets to wrap it. At least yeah. you can actually play it. Hit, hit. And there's ooh, no, 17. like, Pontiana card. Yeah, like Pontiac. No, no, that's yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty unplayable, considering it's just a flicking picture. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, it's basic, this, but it does what it's meant to do, doesn't well, it? Well, it's got Pontiac it's has Blackjack. a secret. Jack, it works, it's fine. Yeah. Go to Pontiac it. again and see if there's a secret. No, there isn't a secret. I've tried it many times oh. to see if there's yeah, anything Yeah, no, it is literally just a picture that flickers of a yeah, car. Yeah, that's all I could find. Of a Pontiac, which is the car. It actually is kind of smart to think that there's a secret in it. And now, uh, High Roller, I didn't understand this. It has like eight players or something. Oh my word. Yeah, eight players. But yeah, it's like pass around the console or something, that's all yeah. right. Yeah, what's it do? And then initials, I'm AAA. Yeah. Uh, well, like the Atari symbol at the bottom. Yeah. And then um, you can choose dice to keep and choose ones to roll again. Oh, right, okay, so, so some kind of dice five, game. So I'll keep yeah. this five. I'll re re roll the three. I've heard of High Roller before. I don't know how to play it. I'm just it's some kind of, yeah, I wouldn't have a clue how to play it. So if you guys know how to play this, maybe you could get some fun out of it. I consider it to be extremely flipping boring. Keep the five, the six, and the five. Yeah. Uh, oh my I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, two twos, four fours, 
ten Listen. fives on not any of this means. Yeah. No, we haven't a clue, guys. And I don't even want to discover it. Because it's probably all of them. Let me just check. All of them, isn't it? Yeah. I think so. Which um, one was the best one? Well, well, the best one out of that lot is the helicopter uh, yeah, one. Yeah. The Chopper Pontiac X and Chopper X. Jack are yeah. my favourite ones so in this Pontiac one. Pontiac is yeah. my favourite one. Right, right. Basically I guess it's now one. Oliver's turn again. Yeah. Uh, here's one that he wanted to play. Right. Whether he'll manage to play it, I mean, obviously I looked at this one yesterday, but it's one of Oliver's choices, so we've got to go ahead. Don't worry, guys, I'll be making a video later and covering yeah. more. Yeah, I picked it for you, but you said it was alright. I don't want to pause that. Put it on the easy. Yeah. This will have a bit of a chance then. So it just shoots everything and you can float in the air. Yeah. See? You have to hold it up to play. Yeah. Maybe. That's it, you're floating now. Let's see how an eight year old manages this one, eh? Yeah, you can blow that up as well if you wanted to. You kept shooting Stop it, you can right blow it up. No, so it doesn't come back. Yeah, that's it. Keep going. Oh, it always came back for me. Oh, did it? Yeah, cool. Right, you've, you've turned it on, so you've got to go the other way now. That's it. I can go down. Go on, yeah. Oh. Okay. yeah, you can go down in the middle. Go, go, go back. back to the middle, and then go down. Yeah, you can blow that up if you want to, so it's up to you. you can you die by it, though? Can, can, can you die? Well, you will die if you don't get out of the way. <laughs> That's it, run. That's it, then jump down. Go down the bottom there. That's it, go down now. That's it. Yeet! Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, you've got to shoot what's there. There's a murder on it. Right, no, it's you... further down, look, because it's on the ground. You would have to be further down to shoot it. That's it, keep going. Yeah. So, did you like this one, Ollie? Yes, I did. It's basically kill everything. Yep. Uh, you know, if you go a bit higher, you can shoot that and go up. You just have to do a lot to get it. You have to shoot it quite a lot. That's it, you got it. Die! I absolutely love this, this game. Fantastic. Ah, oh, you died. What a surprise. Yeah. Right, what do you want to do? Do you want to quit and give it to Josh for the next one? Or do you want to carry on playing? Wait, did I... Wait, how... how oh. oh. Why is it upside down? Because the Atari Lynx, you can switch it round, can't you, for left-handed and right-handed, and they've done that with the Evercade version as well. Oh, no. So now you have to be able to switch it back somehow. Oh, no. Well, at least you're saying this for yourselves, guys, that you can do the switcheroonie, even on the Evercade versions, guys. You can spin the screen round, so if you're left-handed, right-handed, you can turn it. But now they're stuck. Is the it, long way around. So back in a minute, guys, as we sort this uh, epic fail out, shall we? Right, we're back, guys, with Josh's number two. He's choosing Crystal Mines 2 Buried Treasure from 1992 and then rehashed in 2003. This is the version that has a lot of extra games on it. I did cover it last night, but this is Josh's turn. Maybe he'll play it better than I did. Why do you think I'm playing Because it literally has two eyes. Oh, he certainly is playing it better than me. I was on a different level, mind. That looks like a Geo dude, but it's. I just dead. have the default level, that, the first code that was put into the game for me. Yeah. I think this is level one. It is. You know, it's level one. Easy then. It took four minutes to do that. Probably more since I didn't notice. This one you get 13 minutes just under. That's quite a long time, isn't it? Just to do this level. Yeah. Probably because it's long. It's basically Great. Shovel Knight. This is how you should play it. This is nothing shovel. like Shovel Knight. <laughs> have you ever played Shovel Knight? Oh, yeah. Mm, shovel Knight's good. I have. Like you have a knight and he has a shovel. I've got it on the switch, shouldn't I? Oh. I never knew that. And on the Vita. <laughs> mm -hmm. I never knew that. Yeah? I did it actually. It looks like it. It doesn't. It, it's like it. It's not. You, you have to hit 
to kill monsters. Or maybe in Oliver's world it's like Shovel Knight. Mm. No, Pokemon. Monster. Oh, Pokemon. Oh, I placed the bomb. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he got you. He's no. killed you. Ah, ah. He's a murderer. A murderer. Murder. <laughs> He's dancing. Yeah, I, I love it when that TNT goes off and it blows all over the place. Wicked, isn't it? Mm. But that guy was dancing. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh. Yeah. You don't even need to squish them, you just shoot them. Now it's where well, like the time oh, I don't know they turned into bugs. Now like the time actually like properly comes into play because yeah. Look he's dancing! Have, like, six minutes to do yeah. this level. Like, don't so kill the dancing on a rock. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah, because that should blow him up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Nice one. The dancing rock has now died. This time I won't drop the rock. You're doing very well, Josh. Oh no, another dancing <sighs> rock. Don't kill any dancing rocks. This is a fantastic game, guys. I mean, one reason alone to buy this cartridge, guys, this is it. It is fantastic, and there's a hell of a lot more good games on there as well as this. So, yeah, fantastic. Right, and one more go, Josh, and then we'll move on, I suppose. To my one on again. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, it was already fantastic on the original Atari Lynx cartridge, but they added many, many more levels to this new version, so that makes it even more worthwhile. Right, Ollie, what are you choosing next? Uh, I put the thing. It was this one, Scrapyard. Yeah, that's, that's a fairly easy one. You just got to make sure you kill the rats before they uh, reach you, so just throw the bottles at them in time. This is again one of my favourite platformers on the links. I love Scrapyard Dog. Wait, why am I? You're the boy. Oh. He's just stolen your dog. See? Now you got to get your dog back. Give me my dog! I've got the dog. Find us if you want to see him again, Mr. Big. I don't want to. Oh. Mr. Big. Mr. Big. Yeah, Mr. Big. Right, Where's so, Mr. Right. Chungus? Just fire one, fire one, so you know what you're doing. Watch the birds, they drop things, and you're like that, and you die straight away. Mm. That's just stupid. Yeah, so you've got to avoid the bird, yeah? Try again, here we go. Right, oh, that's it, yeah, like that, yeah. Okay, so when you, when you see a rat come, uh, make sure you hit him with one. it. You've got to get him, get it now, get it now. Oh, I see, you've got him, yeah, you got him. Wait, you this is basically now, a scamming game. I mean, not a scamming game. Well, yeah. This is a spamming game. Did you get him, yeah? We do. You can't spam because it despawns all Oh, you can get those money bags that are there by the bin. You can jump over and get it. That's but it. why would somebody leave money bags? Because he wants to get his dog back, doesn't he? Yeah, you got him just in time. There's more money bags. Watch the ah, bird, watch the bird. Stu ah. Stupid bird. Yeah, the bird killed you. Those are like um, minions for big chungus. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh you keep pausing it. <laughs> yeah, because the right uh, shoulder button always pauses. Yeah. Thing. I kept pressing it by accident. But... Yeah, yeah, me too. You could see. Oh, this is a fantastic game. I love it. Quick about a lot of memories because this is one of the yeah. first games I ever yeah. had on the Atari Wait, that was a dog? Yep. Why did dog be... Yeah, the dog's trying to... Get you as well. Are you playing it one more time or not? Yeah. Sure, until I die. Okay, okay. Which might be very soon if that bird gets you again. I hate birds now. Well, at least I learnt my lesson. Yep. Yeah. Of not throwing. Don't throw too birds. many salter eggs. The, the, the birds bird? basically yeah. throw poop at you. There's a dog that you got to get him twice. That's it, yeah, because he, he's got a gun, so you've got to get him twice. Wait, I thought this game was meant to be friendly! And right, can't. is it Josh's turn again? Right, yep. your turn, Josh. Well, so let's see what Josh chooses for his uh, last game. It was, um, 
the Swan. Yeah. Oh, again, guys, I showed that last night, but let's see if Josh can play it better than me, eh? Probably. Yeah, more than likely, because I think everybody can play it better than me, can't they? Mm -hmm. How? Wait, is that a monkey? Mm -hmm. Yep, he's uh, an escaped lab monkey. Mm -hmm. And in the description at the beginning, it says about how he was very badly treated in the lab. Now you've, you've got to free the other animals out of the cages and what have you. But if you fall down the holes, you end up in the sewers. Oh yeah. That's it, you've turned it's around. It's more like, like a that. dungeon to be honest. It's yeah, it's more like a dungeon, yeah. Probably where you were tortured. <laughs> There's a rabbit! Obviously, you can jump over the holes if you don't want to go down there. Wacky Rabbit. Wacky Rabbit? What, is, that, is that his name? No. <laughs> no. Hey, there we go. I love that. I love that bit of uh, video there. It's wicked. Yeah. I've never been able to escape the sewers. Yeah, if you fall in the lava, you've got it, haven't you? Oh. Where's your back there, Josh? Wait, is that, is that Diddy Kong? No, yeah, it's Gordo. But why does he have a hat on that Diddy Kong? This is pre-Diddy Kong, mate. Well, Diddy Kong as we know him. Swing across them now, aren't they? Oh, yeah, there are lights that have to swing across. Yeah. Oh, I can swing across them. Oh, there's your mid exit. Mm -hmm. There's two rabbits that I didn't see at the top. Did you beat that level? I d yeah, I have done, yeah, many times before. But have you beaten level two? Yep, I've beaten that as well in the past. I know it might seem completely and utterly uh, yeah, impossible for me to beat anything, mm -hmm. but uh, yes, I have. I don't know, I think I completed this one when it first came out. Um. Yeah, I think you've got to climb up there. Right? Yeah. See, I seem to remember ricocheting up a wall, but you can't because you can't ricochet off it. Hmm, not too sure now. No smoking. Maybe it's from all the other songs, I don't know. Danger, danger. Oh, there you go on the platforms that they take you up. Oh, really? Yeah. Nothing too far down there. Yeah, you have to get on the one that's going up. I couldn't get on that one last time. Oh, couldn't you? Yeah. You're in the fires of hell. It is hell. Whoa! <laughs> you could just about feel the heat off that, couldn't you? Just... Mm. Yep, yeah, you're turning into um, a chicken, I mean, uh, a monkey noodle soup. <laughs> Watch. See, it just didn't go. What was that? What was that black thing? It's a bag. Um, oh, that's not fair. <laughs> that was not fair. Mm. I think you've got to get the end just right on them, Josh, that's why. You've got to literally hit the actual platform. You need to get onto that conveyor belt, and the only way to do it is on those platforms. Going back to hell. Yep. Going back to. Ooh. <laughs> oh dear. I think you can never beat this one. Oh, I will. Wait for it to come up a bit more. 
Wait. I was right on that. Yeah, you were, yeah. Well, that's, that's weird because that's what I remember, but. Oh well. You're not doing anything with those. Wait, why, why do you keep on doing that? Like, why do you keep on doing that? Because it's hitting his head, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you like that, yeah. No smoking. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I literally said. Oh, no, no, that was just a button to jump. Yeah. There's two buttons to jump. Mm -hmm. You'd be alright. Yeah. Just kill yourself. No. It's so hard down there, isn't it? Right, we shall do Oliver's last choice. I swear he's played three games already. Has he played three games? Yeah. Has he? Um, you played three games, I think. Well, what, yeah. three? Yeah. No, you we play both have. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, we both have. We both have? Yeah. So what three did Oliver play again? Um, the... Uh, the ones where you have to kill the rats. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, rat bad. the rat Scrap the old dog. Yeah, scrap the old dog loops and the this yeah, one. Yeah, that's um, right. I mean, you played three. I want to see if there's The mega pack, the um, Gordo and uh, crystal mines. Crystal mines, yeah. Hmm. So there you go, guys. Introducing the two boys, a fifteen-year-old and eight-year-old, to the uh, fantastic Atari Lynx collection on the Evercade, guys. So what did you think? Obviously, you played that what is basically a tech demo. But at least it had the chopper one in there, didn't it, Josh? Mm. Yeah, and that was half decent. What about you, Ollie? What did you think of them all? Uh, I like it. You like it, yeah. But do you actually like it as such? What? The uh, collection as such, you think? Oh, what you played yeah. of it up to other now? Than this one. Yeah, other than that one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the Blackjack and the chopper games were good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, but this one? But at least it had some good in it. Yeah, right. that, that is just surreal. It just does your head in. Yeah, yeah I have a headache. Picture of a Pontiac flashing. What a terrific game. So yes, there you go, guys. Um, they've had a look at it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we've done the final thoughts already in a way, but um, we shall be back in a sec. Goodbye. We're back. The secret was, it was a big car. <laughs> yeah, that that is a weird, weird, weird game, isn't it? Yes, um, it's, it's not a game. game. It's not a game, that one, I, is it? I was going to say Pontiac. that. Mm. Is literally a flashing picture which does your head in mm -hmm. of a Pontiac. Still have a I like it odd. though. It's but, basically a game yeah. for me. Obviously, what games did you choose, Josh? Um, it was Crystal Mines, wasn't it? Yeah, and um, the Mega Pack. Yeah, thingy. the Mega Vol. Yeah, Mega Pack Volume One with Pontiac on it. Yeah. I mean, the helicopter one was good, wasn't it? And Blackjack. And Blackjack, yeah. Um, and what else did you pick? I'm trying to think what it was now. Um, it was that robot thing, the crystal thing. No, that was Crystal Mines. Yeah, yeah crystal we said that mines. one already, didn't yeah, we? It was, um, it was the, uh, you agree, the monkey some... one. Oh, yeah, the mon the yeah, monkey. Gordo. Yeah, Gordo. Yeah, 106. That is a fantastic platformer, isn't it? Um, quite difficult, though. I think Josh uh, realised just how difficult that was, didn't yeah. you? But did you enjoy them? Yeah. Not that Did you particularly much. enjoy Pontiac? Diddy Kong. Um, yeah. That was fantastic, wasn't it, Pontiac? I mean, it's got to be the best game on the Evercade, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just that flashing, weird, weird game. That isn't a game. It's just a weird picture. Mm -hmm. That 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 whole collection's a bit weird. I mean, yeah, the, the helicopter one's good, and then Blackjack and whatever. But they're all a little bit odd, aren't they? Yeah, it's weird. Uh, and then that one where you had to crack the passwords. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then it just told you about yeah. how grapefruit four year old children want to flush grapefruits down the toilet. Yeah, and that, that is very suitable, guys, because we've got a huge problem in our house of kids oh. blocking up the toilets. 
<laughs> Josh is getting embarrassed and leaving. Um, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, they don't put, what is it? Grapefruit. Yeah. Grapefruit yeah. down the toilet. I must admit, it's just toilet roll, lots of it. So but Anyway, there we go. Yeah, look, that's Pontiac, guys. This is fantastic. It's got to be the best game on the Yeah, played. it's the best and it's strong and it's If the you're drunk, um, blind, deaf and completely stupid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously some kind that's of tech you. demo, isn't it? Um, I don't know what the purpose of it ever was, but that's the one, yeah. Anyway, moving on to Oliver. What ones did you enjoy? The, um, what did you pick in the end? Can you even remember, Oliver? Probably it's not. It's the block one. The block one, you mean loops? Yeah. Did you enjoy that game? Yeah. No, you didn't, because you couldn't play it, could you? You couldn't work it out, could you? Then, of course, you uh, did the uh, cyber virus. What was it called dog. again, Josh? Cyber virus? Um, no, that was the one he didn't do. That yeah. was the one he didn't do. Because it's impossible. Oh, yes, uh, because power he, factor. he did Power Factor. Fantastic game, that one. Fantastic uh, action platformer. Brilliant. Did you like that one where you were you know, you know, were hovering and shooting everything? I give it a 5 out of 10. A 5 out of 10? That's I definitely a, a 9 out of 10. Oh, meh. I love that one. And then you played the fantastic platform of Scrapyard Dog. Yeah, that's my favourite one. 10 out of 10. Yeah, that is awesome, that game. That was uh, one of the first games I ever had on the Atari Lynx back in the, oh. back in the day, guys. So um, I absolutely love that game. Throwing them bottles at them dirty old rats. I love it. So, yeah, did you enjoy those two at least? Scrapyard Dog, I'm talking about. You enjoyed that because you gave it 10 out of 10, so you can't shake your head, can you? Yeah. And of course, um, yeah, oh, here we go, the weird password one. And of course, you quite enjoyed, yeah, the others as well. Well, loops you didn't, but mm, whatever. So, uh, is the Atari Jaguar still worth playing, Josh? 15 year old, put your head in. Um, is it still worth playing these days on the Evercade? Uh, I suppose uh, most of them. Or is it more for old farts like me? Uh, some of the games are good, mm-hmm. and some of them. Um, I don't know how to play them. Yeah, they because they're, they're impossible. Yeah, well, you'll have to uh, just get familiar with them, won't you, Josh? Mm, um, yeah, and get familiar with Pontiac. Yeah, familiar with Pont- Pontiac. But anyway, um, yeah, Oliver's given his opinion. He thinks they're quite fun still, don't you? Obviously, but they got to play more. The them. best one you should play is Pontiac. Definitely play it. Did, Come did, you, on. get, did you get the drift here? Pontiac is very, yeah. very odd. Yes, do it. Yeah, there Get it is again. One. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, guys, I think one. that was a successful experiment. They both think that there is still some joy to be had out of Atari Lynx games, and this is the opinion of a fifteen-year-old and an eight-year-old. So, hey. obviously, all farts like me will always find love with it because we have the nostalgia goggles on, don't we? And uh, you know, it is a bloody awesome library on the Atari Lynx, very much overshadowed at the time again by the Game Boy and even. The Game Gear was more popular, wasn't it? So, mm-hmm. yeah, there we go, guys. Anyway, the age gap video is done and dusted. These two are pontiac it away here. Yes. Yeah. Uh. Dear God, why did they include that one? But I can see it, guys. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? It's just a little bit of fun adding that to the uh, the library of 17 stunning titles. Well, yeah. if you don't include that part of that title... Um, yeah, you can still have some fun out of it if you ignore Pontiac. I need mm-hmm. to tell the viewers something. What's that? When I do this, uh, that's me being weird. Really? Yeah. Mm. That's very yeah. cool, Oliver. Yeah. 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 It looks weird when I do it. Yeah, on it, it looks weird. What, as weird as Pontiac? Yes. Yeah. Mm. And there oh, is well. no secrets. Don't try and find secrets before. because nope. there's none. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say, guys, Josh has tried to get some kind of, like, scent out of Pontiac, but there is absolutely no yeah, sense. Yeah, I played it. It's uh, stupid. Time. Played, yeah. played many times, and I couldn't figure it out. Nothing, guys. Who nothing. even it's made just it? The picture of a Pontiac mm-hmm. flashing like you've uh, taken an illegal substance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whoever made Pontiac oh, and you're enough. watching this, Explain what why, it is. Well, yeah, explain why you made it and what is the blinking point. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. I tried to and look it up. And your I couldn't password thing. No, I couldn't find anything on it, guys, when he looked it up. 
So anyway, guys, there we are. That is another Evercade video done and dusted. Evercade stroke Atari Lynx. Beautiful, beautiful game. I'm gone now. Now it's uh, him. And, of course, uh, look out for my uh, new one that I'll be making this I'm evening. I'm Oliver's ghost. Mm -hmm. Right, so Oliver's already uh, lying collapsed on the floor from watching Pontiac too much. So it's I'm probably dead. giving him a seizure. Um, and Josh is uh, being, as usual, random, waving it about himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To give a good. Yeah. Uh, the gun look. is literally just pointing at me. Mm -hmm. the, the fake gun thing for. Good look at the Evercade there, guys. Yeah. So, anyway, with that, I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. If you don't want to, then you don't want to, okay? Mm. You don't have to. Give me a thumbs up. And obviously, tap that bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications. And with mm -hmm. that, we're all going to say, Off Vida's in. Tschüss and goodbye guys and we'll see you in the next one as Oliver leaves again. At least he's got his oh, trousers yeah. up still at the moment. Now we fallen down showing his pants off. Because that has happened before, I promise yeah. you. Yeah. Yes yeah. it has, but I just didn't put it in the video. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, with that, bye bye guys. Bye.